Hello everybody and welcome back to another video inside of my Minecraft survival world. So this is episode 101 and uh yeah these villagers <laughs> yeah they, these are probably going to be a problem pretty soon. Let's look at the entity counter up here so 390 uh, about 390 when I look at the villagers and when I look back. There's only about 88, and there's also, like, a whole library of villagers over there. So I think it's pretty safe to say that there's maybe a solid, I don't know, 100 villagers in here, which probably, uh, yeah, probably isn't the greatest for the villagers' health. So since I am a nice person and love villagers and have never done anything wrong to them in my life, uh, I'm going to disable the breeder. And hopefully, uh, that kind of solves everything. So I think all I need to do is just get rid of that fence right there. And that should be it. It should be it. I don't know what else I would do. So, uh, if I just have that gotten rid of now, everything should be alright now. So, on to the main focus of this video. So, um, you see this entire cave right here. Um, I've, I've had this idea on my mind for quite a while. I did end up actually scrapping the idea, but then I, I just, I've been really thinking about what I want to do because ever since, uh, the world tour, I've just been so focused on that. I don't actually know what I'm going to do in the future. And all I can really think are just big things, but I don't really want to do big things right now. I just want to do small things, although this is kind of a big thing, to be honest, but it's not absolutely huge. So my plan is, is to, so I have this massive cave right here. I want to kind of open it up to the sky and, and just have, I don't know, open it up to the sky and, you know, kind of make this place, whole place look overgrown and stuff. Um, and I think that might be pretty cool. I also want to uh, dig up all the obsidian down there and replace it all with um with water so that there'd be kind of like a big lake down there and I think that'd be kind of nice. Um, There is one thing though I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna look if I open this up I haven't really uh it's kind of hard to visualize. I'll probably have to get rid of this whole entire thing right here. Um. And yeah, quite a lot of digging and terraforming, but um, yeah, I'll probably just do this over time. And while I'm doing this, I can think of other things to do, other smaller things. So what I need to do is kind of mark out the areas that I want to dig out. So I'm thinking, I mean, the library is going to be a slight issue. It is. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. I'm kind of thinking maybe I can just terraform it so that it, it, you, you, you can't see this right here. So, I'll start with just one big square. So, I want to make sure that I don't go into where the library is. So, maybe about right here. So, I want to make one large square so that's the first coordinate and then i'm gonna go along the 152 x axis and then so I'll, I'll just go into here and then oh no oh no okay oh no i accidentally took a screenshot that's okay all right so yeah as you can see this whole entire area right here is a a uh, water cave, which honestly isn't really the greatest thing ever, but it's it's fine. Oh, okay, all right. So I'm thinking maybe if I go about ten or twenty or fifteen blocks in this direction, should be good. So this is one sixty three. So one seventy, one seventy one. Okay. I'll do, so, negative 152, 171, there we go. So that's two of the coordinates done. So actually, uh, the gap between 109 and 171 is 62. 
So if I go 62 blocks in this in this direction, I'll see how far that gets me. So uh, 152. So that would be uh, 214. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna dig a little bit and hopefully I'll probably sometime soon kind of check dig down a little bit to see where I'm at. All right, let's see. Okay, you know what? This actually, this might be good. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, that, that could have been bad. Alright. So, I will go right here. So, negative 185, 171. Alright, there we go. And now, I'm gonna go all the way over in this direction, which should be pretty easy. Um, so I need to go over all the way to Z109. Alright, so I have the four coordinates now, so I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna go up to the surface now, and mark out kind of the corners of the whole area. Where did I just get hit? Ex excuse me? Okay. <laughs> Alright, that's a little odd. So, I'm gonna go up to the surface and mark out the four corners, so that I kind of know the area that I want to dig out. Uh, there is one problem, though. The cave is kind of under a big mountain, and I kind of, I, I kind of have to dig out the mountain, but that's fine, because digging out a mountain, I, I guess it's kind of cool. Seems like a cool thing. Yeah, it's this mountain right here. So, I'm going to go and place a block at each of the coordinates, and I'll see how large of an area I'm working with. Alright, now it's not as bad as I thought, although maybe, maybe it is, I'm not sure, because the problem is, is that the, uh, the mountain, it's kind of, uh, where I'm digging, it's kind of going in to where, uh, into the mountain. The mountain is just slightly on it, and that, that's a big problem, because... I mean, well, it's not a big problem, it's just that it's just inconvenient, because if I'm gonna want to make this look nice, I, this whole mountain's got to go. And I mean, honestly, though, I, I'd rather not dig out the the mountain, so I'm gonna have to see, uh, possibly, I could move this a few more blocks to this side, so ideally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, ideally I can move this 10 blocks. That'd be nice if I could. So I'm gonna dig down right below here. You know what? It is a pretty decent amount of blocks because I have to go down about, I don't know, 20 blocks or something. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. So if, wait, which, which coordinate is this? It's, it's kind of hard because there's a ton of mobs. Oh my goodness, that's, that, yeah, that's a lot of monsters. I might want to consider lighting that area up, but if I could get back into that place, I'll, I'll use, I'll use the water. Here we go, and then I have a tunnel going out right here. There we go. Alright, so if it is 10 blocks over in this direction, yeah, this is, this is the correct direction, so, um, there we go, so, negative 175, if I dig down right here, hmm, you know what, that could work, that could work, I'll, I'll, I'll stick with those I'll stick with the pillars uh, that I'm going to make. So the ones that are going into the mountain that are making it so I have to dig into the mountain. I'm going to try out doing it 10 blocks over um, going out from the mountain. And I'll just, I'll see how that turns out. And if, if it doesn't, it's no big deal because I can just <laughs> dig out a little bit more into the mountain. But I really don't want to have to uh dig any more than i need to so i'll just make one large pillar 
right over here and make another one right over here. And there we go. So this is the area I was thinking about. I don't have to destroy this mountain. I mean, destroying a mountain would be kind of a cool thing. But at the same time, uh, I'll, I'll keep this for now. And also, it's kind of... It's kind of been a part of the world. I've, I've looked at it quite a lot, and it's kind of... It, it's like this complete abomination of terrain right here. I, I, I like it. It's been here since the very beginning. Like, all of this terrain. Or maybe except this forest. Because uh, the one before got destroyed. But, um... I'm thinking this could work. It could work. So, um... I'm, I need to actually... I need to see how far down is this actually so if i i'm just gonna say that the surface uh level that i'm gonna be digging out here is y69 then if i go down here so that's already 10 blocks then i'm gonna guess oh, okay oh and that that I, I i thought it'd be a little bit deeper so it didn't give me much warning i i was going to dig down in two blocks but uh, yeah, as you can see, that was my plan right here. So, let's just see. Uh, Y55. So, you know, 14 blocks. That That's not too bad, actually. That's not too bad. So, that is my plan for now. So, I, I have this thing all planned. Um, I will destroy those pillars now. But what I think I want to do is kind of work a little bit on the terrain over by the beehive. And just make it look a little bit nicer because I'm not exactly happy with it. Yeah, well, it's not like I've worked on it at all, but uh, I, I really want it to change. So I'll probably continue on with this in the next video. Alright, now the first thing that I want to point out is this just this straight line of grass blocks right here. That is obviously not natural unless it's just some wacky terrain generation so i think i want to kind of make just as the ground right here kind of the surface level kind of going in through the middle here and then there's kind of two hills on the sides um so i'm just gonna try that out first so all of this right here it's all going to get destroyed. Okay, it looks like there was a creeper explosion right here that I covered up. But I'm just going to dig out all of this right here. And kind of make a little uh, little area going down here with two hills on the side. Alright, now I've kind of dug in the middle here. So as you can see, there are two hills going up on either side. So if I want to put a pathway... Um, I can always just have it go right through here. I do know that I can uh, elevate the pathway like I did all over here. Um, but I don't know. I just think it might look nicer if it just has a nice area right here. And then there can maybe be pathways going up. I, mean, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. This looks a lot better. And as you can see, it solves a lot of the, uh, the whole, uh, plain grass line problem but it doesn't do it completely because there's still a lot of this left so what i'm gonna do is just do a little bit of terraforming right over here i am actually considering covering covering up this place right here uh you know what my my storage room's actually under there my sense of direction just gets so messed up whenever uh, whenever I'm down underground, I do know that the map, oh, I was about to say the map room is over there, yeah, my sense of direction is absolutely terrible, I mean, one, it's been a lot easier ever since I built this, because, well, I know where this is in my base, so, it's a lot easier to know, but I, I, I usually forget a lot of the time that under here is where my base is not all the way over there which i kind of uh whenever i thought of for example my map room i always thought of it being all the way out there but but it's not all right so yeah i'm probably gonna sometime uh 
still cover this up, but not right now. And there's also some power puzzle from when I grew giant spruce trees to gather spruce wood. Yeah, I'll probably get rid of that later. But for now, I'll probably uh, not do that because I'll do that probably when I cover this up. If I do, if I do, which I am planning to, but just, just not right now. Okay, so gotta look at, make this look a little bit natural. And I would say that that is about good. And then there could probably be a, a hill kind of, the hill kind of wraps around right here into the forest right here. Yeah, I, I think that would work. Okay, so it is turning to nighttime. So I am going to fly down here and go to sleep, or at least go to sleep as soon as I can. There we go, there we go. So there is one more area that I need to do for terraforming, and it is this area right here. I uh, So as you can see, it kind of the, the what, what what's it called again? The beehive, oh yeah, the beehive. Uh, kind of sits on these dirt blocks right here, and I kind of I want to cover that up. So if I just um add in some terrain right over here, so I need to make sure that it's not flat, of course. So and this is probably this right here is probably good, and then I can uh dig out a little bit right here and that is probably good and I can just uh place the, all these blocks right here there we go and now I do want to cover up this cave right here because it can get a little bit irritating and it also will probably help a little bit with the terraforming right over here so um I think this will be pretty easy, it's just covering it up basically, I don't think... Yeah, actually this is a pretty good spot because it's not like I have to do any terraforming above the cave, I can just cover it up with grass and that's it. Alright, now I need to solve this problem right here, oh there's also a hole right here. Okay, so I need to solve this kind of straight line problem, so maybe if I just bring this across right here, and then... You know what, there could be, uh, kind of, the grass could probably go in about here, so I can kind of transition into that here and then have all this grass going just like this. And, um, yep, that seems good, and then I can just cover this up right here. I probably will have to cover up a little bit more of the cave since I'm going to be, uh, digging digging in right here so now since the um since the grass goes in right here it gives me a chance to um have dig all that out and then yeah yeah that, that seems fine i'll actually grab all of this grass right here and then There we go. So, I'm going to look at this from a distance. And this actually, this this looks a lot better. This definitely does look a lot better. Uh, the one thing that I don't really like is for there to be just a large area of land that is just flat when it's not the highest elevated area. So, you can see right here... Um right here there was actually it was kind of like the situation we have over there there was just this big area um with just flat land and then this is the top layer so i just expanded it out right over here so i think i'll do the same over here and then this is kind of this layer right here was kind of the big main flat layer you know and then so i'll place a bunch of blocks like that and you know what that seems about good now i can just fill all this in all right now i think that that looks pretty good i would say um i don't think there's anything i would change and oh yeah i'm actually yeah i'm pretty happy with this i think it's a lot better than what it was before and actually yeah the the just the straight line 
of grass was really was really triggering me and and i'm i'm glad it's gone i'm glad it's gone i i just can't stand that stuff and i, I have no idea why i kept it as long as i did but but it's gone now and that's and that's what matters so in the next video i am likely going to um dig out this area right here this whole area i'm not sure if i'll completely dig it out or only dig out most of it or maybe half of it i i don't know um and uh yeah once that's done being dug out i will have to uh, just figure out what to do from there because it honestly is a pretty likely scenario that i'm just gonna have no clue what i'm gonna do because maybe it's not gonna end up very well and I'm not really prepared for that situation. The only thing I can do really is to just cover it all back up. I, I mean, if I if that does come, if that is the scenario, at least I have a little bit more flat land, you know. <laughs> so yeah. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.